Okay, it's been a while. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I think it's been about like six months since I did a get ready with me. But hi, Star Babies, welcome back to my channel. We are in my new little filming spot, and um, yeah. The reason why I wanted to film today, I guess, um, I had espresso. That's one thing. Two, um, I got matched at Sephora with the NARS um, foundation and Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty was on this side and NARS is on this side. I just wanted to do my makeup and see if I like it, wear it throughout the rest of the day, then go back and pick up the one that I like. So usually I'm not one to wear foundation, only because, I don't know, esthetician things? I don't know. I'm gonna take this old school barrier repair. Super old, they don't sell this anymore. But I found it in my skin kit. And it's like a really good primer for me. And I put on a bunch of oil on my skin because I've been really dry. This is NARS Radiant in Punjab. That's the shade, I guess. This is it. I love how Sephora gives you samples. So it's like so nice. Be sufficient. So it's my birthday in three days. I am shook. Birthdays are cool to me, but like, I feel like. I don't know. I always feel pressured to have a lot of fun on my birthday because, you know, I don't know. Does anyone else feel that way? It's like a lot of pressure to have fun. And if you mess it up, you're like, damn, you fucked up your birthday. Now what? And you're just like, oh my god. I don't have any plans at the moment. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly. Obviously, Victor is gonna come over. I kind of just want to eat hot Cheetos, have an angry orchard, watch The Office, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, I was at the last bookstore this weekend and I could have sworn I saw Ryan from the office and like we stared at each other and it was like a really weird moment I didn't say anything and he didn't say anything and I was like oh my gosh I think that's Ryan from the office but before I could like do anything or say anything like his girlfriend or whatever pulled him away and like oh let's go finish shopping and I was like that was weird but okay I think it looks okay well I guess you guys could tell me if this is my color or not. So that was that. For eyebrows, I'm gonna go into my brow definer by Anastasia in the shade Granite. If you don't follow me on Instagram or any other social medias that I update daily, not like YouTube here, I've been kind of lacking on YouTube, I'm so sorry, but it'll get better. I'm, I was just in a little bit of a rut. Like most creators get, you know, it's tough. Putting art is out into the world is tough, and especially in this world, because everybody's a critic, what can I say? It's been a while, and if you don't follow me on like social medias that I update daily or talk about things all the time, you could be kind of confused, <laughs> but let me update you. The whole salon situation, like I said, that, well, I haven't talked about it much because, okay, it's difficult. I'm gonna do a whole updated salon type of thing. But I'll give you the gist of it so I guess you're not too confused. But opening your own salon is obviously a lot of work and a lot of money. Due to financial reasons, which I don't feel like talking about, it's not in my best interest at the moment. Because I do have to get a few permits from the city and state board, as you know, to do it properly. Now I know a lot of people in this industry that do it improperly. I'm talking to you. That's on you. That's all you. You you go girl. I'm proud of you for doing that. That shit's if you're doing it without permits and all that stuff, like, so, that's where you gotta save your cash, save your coin, but it's coming eventually. Ugh, I'm shaking the damn espresso. So obviously, if you have been watching vlogs of mine, follow me on Instagram, you know I have a boyfriend now. We've been together for almost, let's say, half a year. It's been like so nice. I know if you've been following me for a while, you know I was seeing someone else maybe a year ago, year and a half ago. And obviously, for super obvious reasons, I no longer am with that person. It's a really nice relationship. I'm so happy. I love him so much. He's like the sweetest boy ever. He's so kind and, he's so kind and loving and it's beautiful something I've never had before he's he's just a dream but yeah his name is Victor we do a podcast together if you guys want to listen to it I have it in my description 
we're working on our second episode. He's into audio. He has his own band. He's starting up, actually. Um, we're looking for a bassist, though. If any of you play bass and want to play bass for my man in his band, hit his DMs. Penny is being Penny, as many of you know. She is quite... She actually bit my lip right before I started filming this. My lower lip. I got scared, but we're good. She didn't puncture me or anything, but... She is a puppy. It's almost her first birthday, actually. November. We have, like, we're both Sagittarius. <laughs> her birthday is the 28th of November. And mine's the 23rd. Meant to be. As far as my channel goes... Um, I'm gonna make some content, obviously. I love making videos. I love makeup. So that's gonna still be going on. I've been doing videos on Instagram lately. That's been my main focus. It's really fun. I like Instagram videos because they're like really short and they don't take up a bunch of my time. So I can do a lot in one day and edit them the next day and just upload them, oh, upload them throughout the week. And I love that. Laura Mercier, the bad bitch of setting powder. I like to press it into my skin to like give me that smoothing effect. As you guys know, my nose is extremely crooked and I suffer. And when I say suffer, I mean suffer from really bad allergies and sinuses. If you can tell, I'm kind of stuffy right now. Terrible, especially right now. Like, my sinuses have been like kicking my ass. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do like a pink look. So yeah, back to my nose. Ugh, my nose. I really want a nose job. Um, Dr. Nassif. I love watching Botched. Like, that's been my go-to show lately. And his nose jobs are so beautiful. There's also this other doctor in Tijuana that does like beautiful nose jobs. But yeah, I just want a nose that works and looks cute and is straight. Cause like I have a bump. I don't know, you guys know. I get the comments on Instagram. I know you know that I know you know. I have the beloved Morphe 35O palette in front of me. Ooh, she is pigmented. Beauty influencers are something else. I don't know what I am, I'm just me. I like makeup and I like music and I love the strokes, I love the voids and I also like makeup. And I'm an esthetician, I do brow waxing and that's basically what I am. I don't think I'm really a beauty influencer. I'm a Lindsay Starbeast. I do concerts, I'm not going to the voids, sadly, because of things I need to pay for and be an adult about at the moment. I know it's not a lot of money, but I have to really be precise with my money right now. It's not in my cards. You didn't hear this from me. I hear the strokes are coming back 2019 and I kind of have a little bit of psychic in me and I also know they're coming back. I have like this gut feeling. And like I said, you didn't hear it from me. But I could tell the future. Not really. Not officially. I didn't get a degree in telling the future, but thank you to all the beautiful, like, nice feedback I got with my, um, birthday video. I'm not sure when this video is going up. It could be my birthday already. It could be 22 already. But if not, yeah. Thank you for watching that. I love doing those videos. Those types of videos are my, like, my favorite. Oh, well, that's really pink. I'm not sure if I like that. That's a little too pink. I'm still gonna have to do it to the other eye. We'll go on from there. My next like big concert, not necessarily a big concert, but I'm going to see Interwave at Marty's on Newport. I know I haven't really been vocal lately. Like, I used to talk a lot like on YouTube and Instagram. I used to chit chat all the time. And I've been kind of hushed lately. It's kind of like weird. I don't really like talking much. I have like this weird like anxiety which I know it's like not anxiety because if it's true people watch people watch it definitely obviously that's why I make videos but I'm just like I so I was like I'm just gonna fall back this probably doesn't make any sense but being on Instagram and being on the internet is weird in itself I tried this restaurant in downtown well like not downtown Wait, is it downtown Grand Central Market is that downtown I don't know I tried it it's like PB and J, LA or something like that. It is not good. 
plan like a hoe for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It wasn't that good. Was, my dad was like, maybe because it wasn't processed, maybe it was like real peanut butter and jelly. This is from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh, oh, oh. Right here, okay. Look at that, mm, pink with yellow reflectors. I'm gonna add some gold glitter for that extra. Too fire for my own good. Oh my goodness, the eyes are done. Oh, I didn't put brow gel on. I really like the NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. It was super cheap and it works really good. This literally looks like Cheeto dust. I'm gonna go into my really old, not even gonna show you, the Unova kit. Still have it. I'm not throwing it away. Oh, she has a cheek fold now. And then like press it upwards. So it's kind of a harsh line. Take my Hula bronzer, which I need to get more of. This is like the first thing I've ever hit pan on. I'm like really weird about my makeup because I actually used it like a lot. We'll see if this bronzer still works with this foundation. I'll we'll have my bangs out today, so we really gotta put makeup on my forehead for once because I never put makeup on my forehead. The blender is coming off with this little Morphe E17 brush, but this is how I contour it. Look, I put it at the bottom. And then I put it only on this side since my nose is crooked and a little bit on this side. I'm gonna go into this Morphe blush palette and take I think this one. Oh, that's cute though. So I'm gonna go into this little palette I made myself a long time ago and take this white shadow. It's like a dupe for Blanc. Blanc type, a matte white shadow. And I'm gonna take my same setting powder again and just like carve out some of just right here, right here, and my nose. This part's hard. My lips are so dry. Oh, I have glow. That's a piece of my lip. Okay. I'm gonna do new truffle. I'm definitely doing lip gloss. There is no way. I know chapstick is a scam too. For gloss, I'm gonna go in with a uh, MAC lip gloss in O or I don't know how to read. B E A U X. This was a Nicki Minaj collab, I think. I'm gonna spray my face with NYX matte finish. I need to fix my eyebrows, but I need to do. She's falling off at the end. I think I wiped it off. You know your man loves you when half of your eyebrow is off? Cause you're like lit. He's like, oh, you look good. But you know damn well, you go home and you see yourself in the mirror. And you're like, bitch, my eyebrow is off. The tail is gone. And he still loves you. Mm. That's true love right there. Champagne piss off. She's full of glam and going nowhere today. Okay, ew, that's gross. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video of me basically putting on my foundation tester to see if I like it. I'm gonna wear this the rest of the day and see how I like it. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon, obviously with good content and Enjoy your holidays. Mwah.